Hi there, welcome to Get Fit with Gosha. Today's workout is no repeat drills on a punching bag. You can use a freestanding punching bag like mine or a hanging heavy bag. So many of you ask me, what kind of punching bag do I use? So my punching bag, it's a brand called Max and the base is filled with water. It's an okay bag, I'm not too crazy about it, but there's a really nice punching bag called Century Wave Master. I've tried this in a gym and it's just amazing. So I'm just waiting for mine to be delivered to my home. If you want to check out Century Wave Master, click on the link below and then you can see it for yourself. So for today's workout, beside the punching bag, you're gonna need your wraps, you're gonna need your gloves, grab your water, towel, good music, good attitude, and let's get this workout on the road. We're gonna start with a short warm up. Jogging on a spot, waking up all those muscles, waking up the body, shake it out, put a smile on your face. For the next 30 minutes, forget about everything you have to do today and focus on yourself. All right, stand here with it. Left leg in front, hands are up. Easy jump and across. We're gonna do a little bit of shadow boxing. So continuous punches. Stay light on those feet. Very nice, long punches. Now change it into hooks. <sighs> Lifting that elbow up. Tacking the elbow in as it comes back into your body. Awesome. Now change it to uppercuts. Up, turning the shoulders. You were here. And back to jog. Shake it out. So this is a Muay Thai inspired workout. We're gonna do all the Muay Thai moves here. All right, let's do some alternate elbows. Cross elbow. Lifting that elbow up, a little bit higher. And then your shoulder. That's it. All right, now we're gonna do some alternate teeps. So no stand here. Swing the same hand back. We're gonna do those on the bag. And now let's do alternate knee strike. Pointing the knee forward, pointing the toe down. Hands are up. And now we're gonna do alternating roundhouse kicks. Hands up, swing the hand back. Go low, that's it. A few more. And jog again, check it out. Now bring your knees up. And kick your butt. All right, knees up one more time. Kick your butt. And I think we are ready. So get your gloves on. So there are four parts to this workout. Four different rounds. First round, we are doing alternating punches or knee strikes or kicks. 45 seconds. Okay, so you're gonna stand in front of your bag with the left foot in front. Hands are up. You're gonna do fire stance. Get ready, I'm just gonna get my timer so you get yourself ready. See how far you're gonna stand from that bag. So I don't want you to stand too close or too far. Just the right amount so you can hit the target. Ready, let's go. So two punches, jab cross, one, two, come back to fighter stance, one, two, one, two. Now 
No need to hit too hard yet. Control the bag. Just tap it. One, two. One, two. In between, always come back to the fighter stance. Now we're gonna go with alternate hops. Same thing. One, two. Then come back to fighter stance. Left leg in front. Hands are up. Let's go. One, two. One, two. So see when the bag sways, you kind of have to work with it. Time it. When to hit it. One, two. Or you can stop it too. That's fine. One, two. Close to the bag. Hook is a shorter range punch. So you're standing closer to that bag. One more. Awesome. Now we're gonna go with the uppercuts. Uppercut normally you go up to the chin. But now you're going into the bag. So like a body punch. Hands are up. Let's go. One, two. Just tap it. It's kind of hard to do uppercuts on the bag. It's easier when someone holds the pads for you. You can still do it on the punching bag. Just have fun with it. One, two. You can move around the bag a little bit. Make your own sound effects. Time. Now we're gonna do knee strikes, alternating. In between, we're gonna do a hop. So you're gonna do knee strike, hop switch, Knee strike on the other side. Start with your right knee. Ready? Let's go. Right knee, hop switch. Left knee, hop switch. Swing the hand back. Use those four muscles. 
Awesome work. Time. All right. One minute recovery. And now we're gonna go into round number two of two fingers up. We're gonna do three moves, and we're gonna do whatever we do, leading with the left. We're gonna do leading with the right. So let me show you first exercise. You're gonna do left side only. Jab, hook, and uppercut, okay? So one side only. We still have 30 seconds to recover. I know it seems like a long break, but we will need it, especially when we get to the conditioning, because then we're gonna go fast and furious. All right, 10 seconds, get yourself ready. So left leg's in front, hands are up. When you do in your jab, you're going to extend that punch. When you do in the hook, you're gonna get closer to the bed. Ready, let's go. Jab, step in, and then uppercut. And then stabilize the bed. Jab, hook, upper body. Step in. So now, you can add some power to your punches. But make sure you can control your bag. Working on the frustration. Yeah. Last one here. Okay, now we're gonna change stance. So now right legs in front. It's gonna feel a little bit different. Let's go. change your stance so you're used to punching with both sides step in start to feel nice burn in your shoulders one more here Okay, next drill looks like this. Start with your left side. You're gonna do block, teak with that front leg, and roundhouse kick with the back leg. Slowly first, let's go. Block, put the foot down. Teak, and roundhouse kick, power, let's go. Bring those hips for the roundhouse kick. Yeah. Almost there. And time. Okay. Change your steps. Right leg in front. Let's go slowly first. Lock. Teeth.
try. It feels very awkward on this side, but you can do it. Step back. After this, 
We have knee stretch, also known as running bed. Okay, hands on top of the bed or on the side. Red leg in the back. Let's go. Just slide it. Bring those knees up as high as you can. Whew. Keep going, keep going. One more exercise left after this. Okay, time. Hands up, now we're gonna do shuffles. Forward and back. One foot in front. Let's go. Engage that core. That's it, beautiful. Bend the knees. Keep those hands up. All the way to the end. Come on. Let's work it. Time. Okay. One minute break. You can take your glove off. Wipe the sweat off your face. Have some water. And now, we're going into the last round of this workout. Also conditioning. Conditioning means high intensity. Six exercises. And then, that's it. So, put the last six minutes here, here, into all those muscles. Let's do it together. First exercise. Jumping, roundhouse kicks. So I'm gonna start with my right leg. I'm gonna bring my left leg in front and just gonna jump here. How high you wanna jump? It's up to you. How fast you wanna go? Whatever you can do. Get ready, hands are up. 30 seconds per side, let's go. time. 
and stand up. Okay, exercise number three. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Four, jumping jabs. You don't have to hit hard. Hit that. One, two, three, four. And then jumping jabs. Keep going. Left leg in front, right leg in front, doesn't matter. Here, 
I'm in Malaysia and very humid. I don't have a fan here, so my eyes are probably looking like a panda right now because my makeup's running everywhere. Okay, quick stretch. You can hold onto the bag and stretch your quads. Bend the supporting leg. That was brutal. I mean, that was awesome. Good work. Change sides. Brutal in a good way. So that was 26 minutes of non-stop well, with the three one-minute breaks we had, but pretty much non-stop. So that's the best kind of interval training. Okay, bring your feet together, arms over head, breathe out, and come down to your toes or to your shins, just wherever you can reach. Palms down, coming into laying down position, come up into upward dog, stretch out, good, take the shoulders down, away from the ears, and then from here, going into downward dog, stretching out calves and hamstrings, you can also hold the stretch here and just kind of Way your hips side to side, whatever your body is asking you to do. Okay, now step your right foot forward, bring your left knee down, and then bring your right arm up. Push your hip down, feel the stretch in front of your hip flexors. Bring your head down. Change sides. So now bring your left arm up. Push your hip down. Bring your head down. Step forward and take a nice deep breath in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out one more time. Breathe in all the positive energy. Breathe out all the negative. And that is all for today, my friend. I'm all sweaty. Woo! It's good to sweat out. Thank you so much for sweating with me today. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do it now. Share this video with your friends and family. We want all your family and friends to be just as healthy and fit as you. If you have any workout suggestions for me, any workouts you would like to see, please comment down below and I'll be more than happy to make a workout video just for you. And I will talk to you soon. Adios. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Get Fit with Gosha and like her videos.